This is absurd. Oh, that's incredible. There is something infinitely satisfying to see the process of something from start to finish, a before and after, or a how does this turn into this. I've been documenting the start to finish of a basement remodel to up the value on this investment property, and earlier on I mentioned that the wood here would be completely upcycled from a gaggle of trees. I mean, technically that's the grouping term for geese, since a grouping of trees is a forest or a grove, but that doesn't sound nearly as fun, so we're not gonna say it. I like to keep things sustainable, wouldn't you? You would? Cool. And these trees were either dead, knocked down in a storm, or infected by bugs. And fun fact, my grandfather had a passion for woodworking and even put together a sawmill with his bare hands and a little bit of can-do attitude and sheer willpower. He influenced my brother and I into such things from the ripe old age of five years old, and we've been felling trees, milling wood, and doing projects ever since, like so. I aspire to be a fraction of the man my grandfather was. Even two sixteenths. Yes, I could simplify that to one eighth, but then you wouldn't write a comment correcting me. So write one anyways about your favorite species of wood and why. Since I enjoy campaigning and compiling this data for people. Maybe you do too if you're a comment reader. So in preparation for this remodel, we reclaimed some wood. Now we're gonna prep it right away for its future installation. Or so we thought we were. There's always surprises hidden in strange places. Where do you see this piece of metal that I was literally ripping against? Laterally. What? Oh, yeah. That's the base. Yeah. This is the top. Look at the piece of metal that's in there. Oh! Dude. I mean, I love the band, but nobody wants a nine inch nail in their log. That's literally a nine inch nail. TV, that's up, how many feet up that is? Up like 15 feet on this tree. Who the hell is spiking trees like that? Not only that, look at, look at when it was spiked. That nail has been in this tree for how many years? Let's count. It's the right. top of the ring. What do we got? One, two, three, four. 20 minutes later. Over 30 years ago. This is absurd. Oh, that's incredible. As TV, I'm sitting here grinding, wondering why I can't cut through this. What the hell am I hitting? A saw blade. Just the odds of this. <laughs> 30 years of freaking growth around that, just in there. Dude, what are the f***ing odds of that? Yeah, let's put it to scale. Yeah, that's about nine inches. We can't even be mad. Um, it, it's no, like, I'm pissed. It, so I'm going to sharpen the chainsaw blade. I'm pissed. It's a very, it's a bad day in chainsaw world. Well, it's a bad day, but at the same time, I mean, it could have been worse. I gotta do it by hand. You know yeah. how many beers I gotta drink to do this? You know what I mean. That's, that's <laughs> all right, that's Tom in a nutshell, everybody. Oh no, the fourth wall is broken. Here's a closer look and an editor's note. <laughs> this is my brother, Thom. He's built a bit different. It is known to be a habitual line stepper. He installed a free flow exhaust on one of the chainsaws simply because it amuses him to sound like a two stroke 250cc dirt bike. say anything electric chainsaws are not like electric vehicles and haven't seemed to surpass the power of one of these bad boys most appliances are just consumer grade and not commercial or hardcore yet but i'm sure that day is coming that makes me wonder what else is in this piece of wood That's i know right yeah it's like all right
crook at the butt of that. Nobody wants a crooked butt. No, you don't want, well, some people like crooked things. I don't know those people. You just haven't met them. They're there, though. <laughs> There's an ass for every seat, as they say. There is it, yes, sir. Go to work. You know, we, we could have put this on by hand. No, it's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's what they had to do back in the day, back when men were men. Back when they were building stone walls with bare hands. What, what does that make us? I'm fluffy. You're fluffy? Yeah. All right, so this right here is the mighty Timber King. It's essentially a glorified bandsaw that could double as something that's straight out of a horror film, which is always nice. I mean, look at that blade. Sharp, dangerous objects. Sharp objects are dangerous, you know. But anyways, these are absolutely incredible machines. This one can handle up to a 33 inch diameter log. And the extended track on this can make a board or beam up to 24 feet in length. It's applicable to many different kinds of projects, construction, and building. It has precision cut. Look at this. It's got precision cutting that's up to a 32nd of an inch. It's, it's really quite simple to use. You're a good pup for staying clear of the sharp things. Yay. 17, we'll start with 17 inches. 17 inches. 17 inches. 17. It's not legal. Everything's fun that's illegal though. What? So you're contributing to helping us, Socks? Because once again, ball is life. So here's the result of the wood farming, and immediately after cutting, one should stack green lumber to dry, which takes anywhere from 90 days to a year, dependent on the season and the region, to determine its care rate. More dry time is better than not, though. The system here is horizontal boards have inch spacers to allow for airflow, and for the boards standing up, we've got oak, locust, and pine with and without live edge, and these are upwards just waiting to be prepped for further cutting to spec, sanding, staining, and sealing. And you'll see me do that in the next episode. All right, that's that's enough. I'm sure you've all gotten your wood fix for the day, so we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, more will be coming. I wanted to wish you all a lovely day, and I'll see you next week. Ciao. Please enjoy this gaggle of geese. Look at the Canadian Air Force over here, huh? Hawks, hawks galore. <laughs>